Do you need a primer when you're over 40? Oh, if I had a dollar for every time I'm asked this question, I'd be a very wealthy lady. Hello, I'm Amanda Ramsey, your pro age crusader and multi award winning professional makeup artist and over 40s makeup expert. I've been a professional makeup artist for over 20 years and I have a little bit of an unpopular or controversial opinion around primers. Primers are lent on, depended on so much in our industry because often a makeup artist is working and she's got to make that skin that's in front of her amazing instantly. So it really makes sense in our world. For those of you at home my caution is this, so many women are using primers as a crutch or a band-aid to fix skin challenges. If you're reaching for that primer every single day, ask yourself, is there something I could be doing to actually improve the health and condition of my skin so that I'm less reliant on a primer. Look into how you are prepping your skin before you apply your makeup and look into whether you are using the right skincare for you and your skin type. And then if you still need a primer as a band-aid or a quick fix, you want really long lasting makeup. By all means, primers are going to be great. Also primers, without a doubt, amazing for those of you that do have very oily skin and have open pores. Okay, to give a bit more of a smoother finish to your makeup application. Now we're gonna go through some of my favorite or my most loved primers for mature skin specifically. Pore minimizing. It's really hard to be benefit the pore fashionable hydrating primer. Longer lasting grippy primers. A cult favorite is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Primer Oil Free. Really great for your oily skin sisters. Makeup Forever do a menu of brightening, illuminating, color correcting, professional makeup artist primers. Everything from counteracting grayness, sallowness, yellowness, dullness, probably the most frequently used primer in my kit, Fresh Brightener. This is great for your fair skin tone girls. For our medium to deeper skin tones is this grayness reducer. It's a really lovely, illuminating, brightening formula. The only one I'm not a fan of is the green and I know so many women go for green and it's not this one specifically that I don't like. I'm not a massive fan of a green primer on mature skin. I think it can be used incorrectly very very easily and it can make the skin look a little ashy and unwell. But if you're very red by all means a redness correcting. These makeup forever ones really hard to beat. Illuminating getting that luminosity into your skin. It's the DB Cosmetics Rise and Prime Luminescent Primer. Great budget buster. For those of you that don't like a silicon based primer, Nude by Nature, do a whole, again, menu of options. This one just happens to be Blur and Mattify, and this is the opposite. This is the Hydrate and Illuminate. For those of you who have a drier skin type and really want that beautiful hydration and luminosity, to your gorgeous mature skin. Budget Buster for targeted application, so for open pores on a drier skin type. This has got a cult following. This is the e.l.f. Putty, and you wanna just use a little bit of this and use it in a very targeted way. Another question I get asked a lot is, can moisturizers work as a primer? And the answer is, Absolutely. In fact, have a look at the video I did on the best moisturizers for mature skin. This one, you'll find it in so many makeup artists kit. It is a cult favorite. It's the Embryolise. This is the sensitive formula. Brilliant. So if you find that your makeup is disappearing, often it's because you just haven't got enough hydration and moisture in your skin. So using that moisturizer as your primer, try that might work an absolute treat and be enough for you. Where and how to apply your primer. So this is gonna come down to what your biggest challenge is. So if it's color correcting and it's sort of redness, I would encourage you to just use the primer that is one of the green for color correcting redness, just in the area that you have 
the redness. So think about mapping your face. If you're someone that um, has a very oily T-zone, something like your putty or your mattifying primer, use just a little bit through that center part of the face. For those of us menopausal chicks, a little bit of primer along that top lip will be really helpful for you as well. If of course it's just an overall luminosity and radiant glow you want, put on a beautiful luminous primer, a thin layer all over, and you've got that glorious glow, whether you're going to apply makeup afterwards or not. If you're getting quite a bit of creasing and crinkling under the eye zone, try a little bit of primer. A setting spray works really well for this as well. On a fluffy brush, blend that underneath that delicate eye zone as well. So I hope that's helped to steer you in the right direction for what primers might be helpful for you and your particular challenge. I'm Amanda Ramsey. I'm your pro age crusader and award-winning professional makeup artist. And don't forget to like this video. Tell us what you think in the comments below and I'll see you here on Adore Beauty next time.